basically it's a little robot plane that'll fly itself. And the idea being that it'll take pictures autonomously so you won't need to go and hire a, an aircraft with a cameraman inside to get aerial photographs. As a team we started talking and we wanted to do robotics and we were looking for a useful application in the area. And one of our team members is kind of affiliated with the biology department. So he talked to them and they wanted pictures of the nature preserved from the air. So we kind of got interested from that perspective and went from there. A lot of schools have done research and proof of concept. No, additionally, there's aerospace companies that make planes that do this. We're trying to do something that's significantly lower cost than a lot of the other things out there, <clears throat> especially um, finding something that will fit within our budget and opening this up to a new market of people who may not have thousands of dollars to spend on an aircraft. It's working. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> there are some days when it's more frustrating. <laughs> but like Saturday, we took it out. We were testing our um, waypoint updating software. So we put out a couple of waypoints and we were driving around in the car and every time it updated we were all cheering out loud <laughs> that it was working like it was supposed to. And that was something that was big for us, is we wanted a project that was going to be cool. Something that was going to interest us, something that was going to interest other people. And I think at least personally that's helped me get through some of the harder <laughs> days. Just knowing that, okay, it's not working, but at least it's something fun.